Here's a quick example of how to create a confidence interval for means. Um, there's a whole process that you can go through for creating confidence intervals, but I'm just looking in this example, I'm just showing you how you can use your calculator to come up with the interval itself. You should always check your assumptions and conditions. We're going to assume that all of those assumptions and conditions are met for this particular example. Like I said, I'm just going to show you in this example how to use your calculator to calculate the actual numbers for this confidence interval. Um, I'm going to highlight a few things as we go. It says 30 randomly selected high school seniors were asked how many times they skipped school in the past month. The resulting figures were given like this. Uh, the sample mean was 2.15 and the sample standard deviation was 1.95. Determine a 95% confidence interval for the mean number of times a senior skips school in a given month. Again, I'm just looking at the numbers themselves. Well, I'm going to jump to my calculator here. And if I hit stat and go over to tests and then scroll down, this is a T interval. And the reason I know that it is a T interval is because it's for means. Okay, right here, I'm looking at the mean number of times a senior skips. So I know it's either going to be that it's going to be a T test or a T interval. Um, the other thing that I know gives me an idea that it's a T interval is that my sample size is relatively small. 30 is kind of the cutoff point. If you get 30 or less, it's definitely going to be a T interval. Um, so here we go. Let's plug in the numbers into our calculator and, and come up with the interval. It's a T interval. And I have the, the statistics. I do not have the raw data. So I'm not going to use data. I'm going to use stats. So I select stats and I need to put in what I know. I know that the X bar, the sample mean, is given to me is 2.15. I had to look at that again, 2.15. I know the sample standard deviation, look at it again, is 1.95. So that one right here, S, is 1.95. And then the sample size was 30. And my confidence level, my C level, confidence level is 0.95. And then when I hit calculate, there it is. This then gives me the interval itself. So if I were to write this out, I could say I'm 95% confident that the average number of times a senior skips school in a given month is between 1.4 and 2.8 times. I hope this helps and have fun in your stats class.